My first night in jail was horrible <laughs> uh, because that's when you realize that uh, you're, you're, you're locked down within four walls and there's nothing you can do to get out. No screams and cries. It was just uh, dealing with my own emotions of being not in control. I'm not getting the bag of ice. This is what I'm saying. I'm getting three cups of ice. We got three roommates, bro. That's how we're doing. You can sit here and watch. I just want my three cups of ice, bro. Then I'm basically stuck there at, at their mercy. I need a uh, half ounce of crack. Quarter ounce of milk. But also, because of the handcuff key, I thought at any time they could come back up to the pod and pull me out and put me somewhere else. Um, like I said, uh, getting a handcuff key in a jail facility is, is, is big. But after about uh, a short amount of time, I kind of settled in a little bit and decided, OK, it's time to get to work now. So I was out in the rec yard just doing some walking, some pacing, and uh, oh, I can't, I can't remember the, the the big dude that came up to him. He's like, you know, what's your story? What's going on with you? My heart rate was probably at its highest it's been in a long time, and uh, just overwhelming thoughts of you know of the worst of the worst because it's going to happen. To get through that, you just uh, you, you go to some place that you're comfortable with, uh, you know, like you would do on the street working undercover. I'm used to going into areas, uh, meeting people that I've never met, and talking to them, and being uh, competent enough to give them the story that I have, which is my cover story, and that's what I'm doing here. for short and sweet uh, theft receiving. And uh, he's like, oh, you know, kind of the conversation kind of went from there. But at the end of the day, it was just uh, real easy questions. It was nothing, you know, no pin you down, you know, interrogation type questioning. So I'm in now, my cover store's working, I'm fitting in well. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good day. 